Welcome to Technical Studies. Fitting an eccentric reducer to a pipe that is already fitted to another fitting, like a flange, T, elbow etc. is a little tricky. It is a good practice, marking the center lines of the fittings, before starting the fit up, especially an eccentric reducer. I have already posted videos, how to mark the center lines of an eccentric reducer, in different methods. In this video, I will show you the method of fitting an eccentric reducer to a pipe that is already fitted to a flange. But, this method is applicable for all the fittings. Remember, the sequence of the fit-up is more important. Assume that, the flange is welded to the pipe. Put the spool, on suitable supports. Correct the plumbness of the flange. Choose a set of holes closer to the center of the flange. This will ensure more accuracy. Provide proper supports on both sides of the pipe to prevent rotation. Correct the level of the pipe. Check the plumbness of the flange a second time. Check the outer diameter of the pipe. Here, the diameter of the pipe is 406 mm. Hold a large right angle on the pipe as shown. Put a spirit level on the right angle and correct the top level. Mark half OD of the pipe on the top side. Here, the half OD is 203 mm. Hold the spirit level vertically and transfer the top center mark to the bottom side, as shown. Mark the quarter circumference on both sides of the pipe. If you don't have a pipe aligning clamp, tack weld, for numbers jack bolts 90 degree apart, as shown. Put the reducer in the clamps. Slightly tight the bolts. Arrange proper supports below the reducer. The height of the support shall be adjustable. Here, I used simple wedges. Put the gap rod in the joint. The gap shall be 3 mm to 4 mm, depending the welding process. Match the center lines on the pipe and on the reducer. By adjusting the jack bolts, correct the overlap of the joint inside the pipe. Now, tack weld on the top side of the joint. Correct the levelness of the outer face of the reducer. Tack weld in the bottom side of the joint. Correct the straightness of the joint on both sides. 
If required, remove the gap rod. Tack weld on both sides. Thank you for watching.